I'd like to tell you about a new CD I've been working on for the past year. Most of you probably know that playing the piano is something I love to do and have been doing since I was a little girl. And this CD will be a collection of solo piano pieces that I have composed. And it'll also have an extra song that I think you'll know. In 2010, I set a goal to read 22 books on songwriting that had been recommended by a conference for songwriters. The very first book I read in that list had such an impact on me, and my new CD coming out is a reflection of the impact of that book. See, I started writing music in 1993 when melodies and lyrics just began to come to me. I had never experienced anything quite like it, but I began to write what I heard and felt. And then I began sharing those songs at my home church, and from there began to get bookings at other places. I knew so little about writing at the time, but over the years I've worked hard to learn more about becoming a better writer. In fact, I've worked hard to become better at everything I set my hand to when it comes to music. Writing songs, practicing instruments, or performing at concerts, doesn't matter, I just want to get better. And so I expose myself to critiques and just uh, coaching and anything that I can get my hands on to improve. And somewhere along the way, I learned that if you want to make a living writing music, you need to write within certain structures and guidelines. So I began learning those rules for writing, which led to my goal last year of making it through all these books. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm on book number four. But it took me weeks just to get through the first book, and that was just skimming the surface. But I was so challenged to get back to writing what I heard that I began to take it to heart. In fact, at the time of reading The Artist's Way, which is the book I was reading, I was in a season of discouragement. It's a hard road to write for commercial purposes. To write solely out of inspiration can be very easy, but if you want to write songs that touch people and fit within the current music styles, you have to learn the rules and then write well enough to break those rules and still be successful. Somewhere along the way, I began to get discouraged. But after reading and spending time reflecting on my journey, I began to feel like I wanted to write again, but more out of that place of inspiration and, and not so much trying to fit within certain criteria. So I began to write again with refined goals, to write what I heard and felt. So I'd go for walks and I'd come back with feelings of inspiration just based on what I heard like from the birds singing that morning. So I sat down and played an interpretation of what I felt after my walk. I didn't plan it out, I didn't sit and study structure, etc. I just hit the record button and played. Here's a sample from that song, now called The Bird Song, and incidentally, is one of my favorites. Another morning I was pruning my favorite purple lilac bush and began to think about what it's like to be pruned. To feel the clippers cutting back your most beautiful assets. It must feel quite vulnerable at first, but surely as new life begins to come and the bush gets more blooms the following spring, just because it was pruned last spring, there must be a sense of joy and satisfaction. So again, I went into my studio after that experience and began to play what it must feel like to be pruned. Now in the song, The Pruning, you'll first hear the shorter clips, and as you are patient, you'll begin to hear the new life starting to come forth as the pace picks up a little bit in the music. So here's a sample of The Pruning. Thank you. 
The title song to the new CD, Windy Hill Road, is reminiscent of the road I often walk during the week near my house. It's a beautiful road, but it has hills and curves that make it a bit challenging to walk. Once you negotiate the turns and the hills, though, there's a beautiful view of the mountains in the background at the top of the hill. It always invigorates me when I get to the top and look around. Now, even though this project is based mainly on inspiration and the principle of writing what I hear, there is still an element of wanting to improve at my writing skills. One of the very important elements of a strong song is to have a strong melody. So I must tell you that I was very aware of the melody as I was writing this piece, and I was much more intentional about making sure I had a strong melody. This solo piano CD is a collection of songs that I'm excited to share with you. Even the song Snow came from walking on Windy Hill Road one cold winter morning years ago. I longed for a blanket of snow to cover the barren winter landscape. Snow always makes winter more bearable for me. And a lot of people don't like that part of me, but it's true. I love snow. And that's why um, it, it just takes away the barrenness of winter for me. So I began to compose a tune in my head as I walked that road. Later I sat down and wrote the song, Snow. A recurring thread among this collection of songs has been nature, it seems, and the inspiration I draw from spending time viewing creation. So it seems appropriate to end the project with one of my favorite hymns, reflecting the truth that all I enjoy about this world has been made by my father. This is his world. So I end with my own arrangement of the beautiful song, This is my father's world. <laughs> ¶¶